Rizo Grease Heavy Hold versus Suavecito Oil Based Pomade. This is Brand Battle. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to Brand Battle, the series that sees me take two very similar products and put them head to head in the ultimate battle. Yes, to see which one's the best, which one you should really splash your cash on, which one is really worth the hype if they have any sort of hype. Now, I will be working through various categories down here. Some of these will be slightly more important, like when we get into the styling, when we get into the consistency, when we get into the whole, those things are important. But there's other things peppered around, which are like the aesthetic -y bits and bit of fun and actually stuff that you might seriously care about. Now, we've had a few brand battles before, a brand battle every week with a competition. And the winner from last week's will be in the description below. And if you want to enter this one, you've got to enter in the week it goes up. Lots of information, so check that out and go there. Also, please do press subscribe. I know that roughly about 70% of the views come from non-subscribers. Seriously, who are you? Press subscribe right now. Now, we have got, into packaging and brand, we've got Rousel, which was in the clay one that we had the other week, the cream clay. And Rousel is a brand from the Netherlands. They're from Rotterdam. They were a barbershop, which have now gone into product. Bit of a cult following. Pretty cool. If I'm ever across there, I want to go into that barbershop. I just think it's, yeah, it's cool. They've always got these tins. They've always got the pig because the word Rizo comes from the word lard, which is traditionally how a pomade was made. Versus Suavecito, which again, kind of has a bit of a cult following. More of this kind of um, like greaser, rockabilly, kind of skeleton thing. I don't love it, but some people will love it. Um, I think as a brand, they're quite clear, quite consistent. They both are. I like when a brand knows who they are. So for this one, I'm gonna give a point to each. Okay, into ingredients. Uh, ingredients for the grease, I should say grease. This means that it is oil-based. It's gonna have something really heavy in it. It's not water-based, it's gonna go in and you might struggle to get it out. Spoiler alert, that will be in washability. Um, but when you look at this petrol atom, um, Kira Alba, our friend Beeswax, um, various other bits and bobs. So we know that it is an oil based, it's really quite heavy. Then when we look at Suavecito, we have got petrol atom again, microcrystalline wax. Uh, so again, waxy, oily, exactly what we want in a heavy, greasy, heavy hold, hopefully, product. So I'm gonna give a point to each. Smell, again, something you might not be bothered about, but you might. I really quite like the smell of the Rousel products. To me, they always feel quite creamy. I think because they are quite oily, when you then put in a scent, it seems to hold quite well and it will hold into the hair. So yeah, I, I quite like it. Then you've got Su 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 Suavecito, who have got their signature scent. I don't like it one bit. It's not for me. I find it a bit stifling and a bit like, oh, what is that? Again, some people will love this and some people go wet and wild for it, but for me, it's a no go, 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 go. So I'm gonna give one point to Rizo and, sorry, no points to Spavacito. Consistency and application. How does it feel going into the hair and how easy is it to apply? The Rizo one really is quite oily. I, um, I cooked a pork joint, stay with me on this one, honestly. I cooked a pork joint over the weekend and then I had it in the fridge ate it throughout the week, and there was definitely some fat that had congealed. This is what this feels like, and actually, that's reassuringly good. You scoop it out, you get it into the hands, you warm it up, it feels thick, it feels um, lardy, it's, it feels good, and then you can really smell that smell. Into the hair, it's smooth, it glides, you feel like you're gonna really have a good time with this, uh, versus the, don't know what I'm up to, versus the Suavecito, which, it's slightly more oily than the creamy sort of fatty. It's kind of sticky and you can even see that when you scoop it out and into the hand. Kind of a bit sticky, a bit oily, so into the hair it doesn't quite feel as good in terms of the experience. So yeah, I, it's fine, but I don't love it. So I'm gonna give two points to Rousel, one point to Suavecito. Styling. Now, for styling, both of these products say to get that comb in, get that style in. The types of styles you're going to be doing with a real heavy hold pomade will be something like your classic slick back, your classic parted side, whatever it might be. You want to go for these traditional styles and really work with that smoothness of the product. 
you can also build the product and start to get in all that volume into really structured quiffs or quiffs that are sort of smoother in terms of like um, the, the outer side of them rather than crisp with all this texture, which I kind of tend to go with. Or you can go with a, a pompadour. So really build that in, build, 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 and use a comb to really work around. So I have done something a little bit more smooth. So with shorter hair, I've just gone with a sort of a side part, products in, and then using a comb, just the tail end of the comb, and pushing right from the recession point into the back. What this is gonna do, it's a bit of a tutorial for you, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to put that side part in and then just part the hair right on the part line. It's very, very easy with Rizal. It is very responsive. It glides in. The comb works straight through it. And it has, um, it has a good hold onto the hair. So when you place it down, it's going to sit with it. Suavecito does much the same. But again, it's just slightly um, stickier. It feels like it holds the hair in a slightly different way. And it's maybe not quite as responsive. So for a potential three points, I'm gonna give, yeah, I'm gonna give a full three points to Rizal. Love this boy here. And I'm gonna give two points to Suavecito. Finish, how does the hair look? A possible five points. This is the big boy. This is the one that the brands want. This is the hot ticket. This is the golden ticket. This is it. And I really do like the way that my hair looks with Arousal. I always know what I'm getting with this product. This is my third of these. This is a new one actually. And I like that when I use this, I always know it's gonna be good. We had a brand battle the other day, uh, other week, where I had said, you know, sometimes hit or miss. It's never sort of hit or miss with this. You always know what you're gonna get. It looks smooth. It looks like it's got a good structure and it's just, yeah, I like it. Uh, a light shine to it, you know, nothing too glossy, but enough to know you've used a pomade. Versus the Suavecito, which, I, do you know what I like? Again, if like someone just said, hey, there's one product for you, this is the only product you can use for the rest of your life, I would be mildly upset, but I would say, yeah, cool, let's do it. And actually, it does uh, work into the hair and it looks okay, but just not quite as good. So thinking of these as pomades and what I'm looking for, I am giving, I'm gonna give three points to Suavecito and five points to Rosal. Okay, by now, you know the drill. Withhold, here's Rousel. It's in and it's feeling good. Not solid, still a little bit of movement. We'll see. It's really very windy. It's very windy. And actually, not bad going. Actually really very good. Another solid performer. Um, it really did take a bashing in the wind earlier, but it's still uh, done quite well. Still malleable, still touchable. Um, and it's, yeah, it's kind of a bit more lived in now. I think pretty good. And Suavecito. Perfectly positioned into place. Feeling good? So impressive. This literally hasn't moved all day. But not in like a sticky hard way. <laughs> Just in a, in a good way. Hmm. So yeah, really good. I really like these. There was a sort of time in my life, not too long ago, when I used to be like a total hairspray boy, you know, I would get the products in and then just blast it to shit so that my hair didn't move. These, you don't need to be doing that. You know, these are heavy enough to hold the hair. Also, when you've got those kind of flat, if your hair does pop out just a little bit, do not worry, it's just hair. Get your hand back in and work it over. But these are really, really good. So for a potential four points, I'm gonna give, yeah, I'm gonna give four points to Rizal and I'm also gonna give four points to Suavecito. Washability, these are oil-based pomades. Are we expecting it to slip in and slip out? We expect it to slip in, but it's probably not gonna slip out. And it doesn't. If you really want to remove these products properly, you know, get really clean hair, you will need a shampoo. So, um, so actually this is a, a bit of a plus for this because with these products, the next day, if you don't wash your hair, you just get that comb again and you work it back in. You can work those products back in, those styles back in, and just take a little bit more product and smooth over. So the fact that these don't wash out is a praise be moment. So these are both getting, this is a bit of a weird one, these are both getting zero points. Price and value, I always see it, and you've heard it before. If not, then where have you been? Press subscribe, seriously, come back for brand battle. I always say this always comes down to where you live the taxes, the charges, the pushing packaging. Also, what do you see as value? How much are you prepared to spend on a product? 
can let me know in the comments. So these, I actually think are really very reasonable. Rousel is across various stockists in various parts of the world. And it's always around for this. It's uh, four rounds, 113 grams. It's always around about that sort of 10 pound mark. So obviously, to, again, these guys actually, when they were creating the brand, they wanted to create stuff that was accessible and that people could use and wouldn't have to break the bank. So again, this is around about, I'm sure I saw one for like seven pounds, but this was 10 pounds when I bought it. Um, and again, I think are roughly the same size, 85 grams, three ounces, so slightly smaller. So I actually think in terms of price and value, they're both really good. So I'm gonna give two points to each. So there you have it. 14 points for Suavecito, which actually isn't really bad. You know, that's like two thirds. 14 out of 21 versus a whopping 19 points for Rousel. Oof, that is a big boy right there. Only dropped two points. Where did they drop them? Um, they dropped them on washability. Ooh, I really like this product. And the more that I've kind of got into my hairstyling and not wanting to use hairsprays all the time, the more I can appreciate this. I think a really good solid pomade and I really like the brand. So well done, Rousel. Really very good, 19 points there. And this is the master leaderboard. Every week it gets updated with the brattles, the brattles, oh, there we go. The brattles from before, plus the new ones. And we can see where everything sort of works in there. So there you go. And um, please do press subscribe if you've not yet pressed subscribe. It would mean the world to me, seriously. It also lets this channel grow. And um, also leave a comment down below and I will link all the other brand battles before up there and the competition, enter it. Seriously, good prizes right down there. But until my next new video, see ya, bye-bye.